Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a stack of mugs and I did do my sketch earlier and sketch is of course available for you also to download from my website. There's a link down in the description box so you can go ahead check it out, download it for yourself, trace it and just join in. Also, I will be using this Centenaire watercolor paper. It is called Press 100% Cotton. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 18 by 26 centimeters or 7 by 10 and 1 quarter of an inch. And also, I will be using watercolors that I made myself from my two collections, yellow, some brownish, black, pink, this red. And I was thinking to use maybe from Etcher palette red, but at the end I did not use it. I will use Sepia from White Nights. Also, I will be using this Micron pen from Pigma. And first I was thinking I would be using 05, 08, 02, but at the end I used only 02 and 05. We will be starting with tracing our sketch and for that I will be using a graphite paper and now I'm just looking where to place my sketch just trying to put it somewhere in the middle around the middle then glue the graphite paper and also the paper with my sketch onto the watercolor paper and for tracing I'm using just a regular pencil nothing special nothing particular you can use any pencil you have but just with a little bit sharper uh, edge sharper tip and just don't make it too sharp we don't want to rip our paper and leave too hard markings onto our watercolor paper so you don't have to press too hard when you are tracing your sketch and also since i'm using a block of paper it is easier for me to use a graphite paper but if you don't have a graphite paper and you're using a single sheet of paper you can trace it just onto your water uh, onto your window or just scribble on the back of your sketch on the paper and on which is your sketch and then just trace it onto your watercolor paper quite simple and we're just doing the with the sketch we're just doing the shapes the edges of our mugs and later on we will be adding a little bit more of the details with ink pen but for now this sketch is just quite enough And you can see I'm not really pressing too hard. And now that I'm done, I will use a little bit of the kneaded eraser, just a kneaded eraser to remove the excess graphite. Since this uh, graphite paper is pretty new, it just leaves graphite also all around. So I'm just picking up the excess graphite and with that I'm lightening my sketch. Not that, that is necessary here because we will go over it with ink pen, but I do want to pick up the excess graphite. I don't want to mix it with my watercolors and water. Now I have picked up that ink and I will be doing the edges first with ink and then watercolors. And then at the end, we will add a little bit more details with our ink pen. So as you can see, also, I'm not just doing one line one straight line over my sketch but i'm just um, doing a sketchy line you can see it's broken some places a little bit uh, more thick some places a little bit thinner if you prefer it to be one straight line a crisp line you can def definitely do that i do prefer it this way to make it look a little bit sketchy and later on i will be adding a little bit more of the ink on top because when you do add watercolors especially if they are a little bit opaque they will cover that ink and well it won't be so visible so i do like to add a little bit more ink at the end over the on top of the watercolors so those lines are going to be thicker at the end and that uh, sketchy type of lines is going to be just fine because as I said later on we will be adding a little bit more of the ink on top. And I did skip as you could have seen on my sketch there are lines uh, inside of those um, mug holders but I, I did skip that. I'm not going to ink that because that's just for me to know where to put the shadows. 
And when I finished with sketch, I'm just splattering a little bit of the clean water all around because later on when I start adding watercolors, it will spill a little bit outside the edges and that's fine to make it just slightly looser. Not too much because I did not wet the entire paper and not all borders are wet all edges but just some parts and just on some parts the water will uh, the paint will slightly go outside the edges and most of the lines are gonna stay crisp first mug I'm painting in with pink and second one with green of course you can use any color you like you don't have to use same colors as I did and also you don't have to embellish your mugs same way as I did a little bit of the green on the holder and then I'm just using this um, tissue paper to pick up some water and that is how I am creating the texture on my second mug. For the third one I'm using yellow. This is warm yellow for my collection painting in the entire mug and then just on the bottom right part I'm adding a little bit more of the paint because I do want to make it look like there is the shadow so I'm leaving the upper left part a little bit lighter and lower right part a little bit darker. For the last one I'm painting it with this is something like an orangey color I used red for my collection and yellow and again I'm painting the upper left side lighter and a lower uh, right side a little bit uh, darker <laughs> yeah that's right I do have issues with right or left well I guess you know it is what it is right so I've picked up a little bit of the paint because I do want that upper part to shine to make this one look very very shiny and then on top I splattered a little bit of the clean water and just went around the edges and smudged a little bit of the paint I did want it a little bit more of the bleeds so I have used just a little brush with clean water to move slightly that paint over the edge I left it to dry completely and then again with the same ink pen, I do believe this is a 05, I'm just adding some dots on my first mug and just going around the edges as I said making them slightly thicker. And you can see those dots are not all the same, some are a little bit bigger, some a little bit smaller. And now just adding those shadows I was talking about that we did drew on our sketch. And for that again I'm using pink and a little bit of the brown. This is coffee brown again for my cozy collection, a lighter brown. And then also I did add a little bit more of the pigment on the lower right, right side of my cup. And now moving on to the third one I'm just drawing some flowers there. You can see I'm not trying to make them perfect, they're far from perfect, they don't have to be perfect. And just adding a little bit of that again warm brown. To those flowers and a little bit of the splatters with the same color and also I decided to add just a little bit more of the yellow in that lower right side and now moving on to the fourth mug just drawing in sketching in some lines I do want that one to have stripes so painting in those stripes with quite saturated orange color and I do want to make it look like it's that it's just going into the lower part a little bit lower also so I'm just smudging slightly that paint and adding it in that thicker th stripe also and I did leave the left side of the stripe a little bit lighter because I do want to make it look like there is also shine there painting in some shadows to the holder to the handle and also to the green handle and when I'm painting those shadows I'm using more saturated pigment I use for the mug or I do add a little bit of the brown to it just to make a slightly different shade or tone right <laughs> so just adding a little bit more of the ink some details again using that same 02 and I decided to add some stripes also but this time uh, vertical stripes to the 
second to the green mark also. Again, not drawing in one straight line, but just doing that sketchy line again, adding a little bit of the yellow and then a little bit of the sepia from White Knights to the edges of those thinner stripes and also to the place where the shadows on the handle are. A little bit more of the details here and there where I just see fit. Some shadings, a little bit of sepia, again some more, just to make that part where the stripes are pop a little bit and now I have picked up straight from the tube a white gouache and painting in a little bit more of the details maybe some shine also to that green mug and since the paint is very very thick I did pick up a little bit of the water in my brush just to move slightly that white gouache some splatters with white gouache some splatters with orange and a little bit of the details to the all to the ground or table wherever those mugs are and again at last just adding a little bit more of the details some shading with my ink pen and I do want some parts to stand out so I am adding with this 05 this one is a little bit thicker one I'm adding in a little bit more of the shading, a little bit more of the lines here and there. As I said, just to make that ink stand out, it was barely visible. And now I do want to make it stand out a little bit more, but that we're done with our watercolors. Maybe just a few details at the end will be done, but basically we're done with our watercolors. So wherever the shadows are, I'm just adding a little bit more of the ink. And to those stripes here where I do want to make it look like they're popping out, that they are also not just drawn on the surface, but that it does have a little bit of the texture, that mug. And for the last pink one, and as I said, this is just a super fun project. You don't have to be bothered with every single detail. At the end, I did add a little bit more of the splatters with black, but unfortunately my camera stopped so you can see that, but you can see it on a finished piece, just a few splatters with black. And with that, I'll be finishing off this video and I hope you had fun and you'll find this project, this painting fun. So why not give it a try? You can just do any details any embellishments that you like onto your mugs and guys thank you so much for all your support for watching for every single beautiful comment you give me and i really do appreciate that and if you do like also this video please hit the like button and share it and comment i am gonna go i'm gonna answer to all your comments it's just i have been busy these days so i couldn't really answer straight away so don't be <laughs> upset if I don't answer straight away I will get to all of your comments and again thank you so much for watching I hope I'll see you next time bye